Not far from the beaches of the French Riviera, the energy for our fossil fuel-free future is taking shape. It's very well protected. It's called fusion, an elusive form of nuclear energy that's clean and safe, and we've been given special access to the site. It is the world's biggest science experiment. I like to say that. <laughs> If this experimental plant works as expected when it's switched on in seven years' time, it will be modern alchemy, turning water into bountiful energy without the long-lived radioactive waste of current nuclear plants. Nuclear energy as we know it today is, uh, as, comes from a process called nuclear fission, which is where we split large atoms and make smaller ones, which releases a huge amount of energy. Fusion is when we put two smaller um, uh, nuclei together and fuse them together, which is the process that happens within the sun. And this releases even more energy than uh, a fission um, reactor would, but obviously we're trying to re recreate the sun on Earth, so it's a lot more challenging to do. Scientists start the fusion reaction by heating up two forms of hydrogen gas that can be found in seawater until they become a soup of atomic particles called plasma, ten times hotter than the sun. That's far too hot for any material on Earth to contain, so the wall of the reactor will have some of the strongest magnets on the planet suspending the particles in a perfect donut ring that never touches the sides. The hydrogen atoms collide and fuse to make another gas called helium, releasing vast amounts of energy in the process. That energy can be used to make electricity, but importantly, the reactor can be switched off in seconds, so there's no risk of a Fukushima-style meltdown. This will be the heart of the reactor, and it will contain the most mind-boggling extremes of temperature. Over here will be the plasma at a temperature of 150 million degrees. Just 10 metres this way will be the magnets. Temperature minus 269, almost absolute zero. You'll have the hottest and the coldest points of the universe right here in the south of France. To prevent runaway climate change, the world needs to ditch fossil fuels by 2050. Nuclear fusion could be the backup to renewable energy. Just a pineapple-sized amount of hydrogen has the energy of 10,000 tonnes of coal. You need massive, predictable, continuous okay, energy supply, and uh, it's why uh, renewable energy will not be enough. So when there is no sun, when there is no wind, you could use your fusion. Previous attempts at fusion have been too small to extract usable energy. This is scaled up, a 15 billion pound project with the European Union, United States, Russia and China all involved. The energy that powers the sun and stars is being brought down to earth. Thomas Moore, Sky News.